You're watching a free sample video from Teacher's Test Prep. For videos like this one covering every area of your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com. Let's talk about the rock cycle. It's a very important concept to understand on the exam. Uh, very often you uh, will get qu a question or perhaps several questions about the rock cycle. Um, so there are three main types of rock and the basic idea of the rock cycle is that any of these rocks can be transformed into any of these other types of rock uh, over a long period of time, sometimes millions of years, so over a geologic time scale. Um, so what are the three types of rock? Igneous, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Igneous rock forms from solidified magma. Um, and magma is basically molten rock beneath the Earth's surface. Now that magma can come out um, to the Earth's surface as lava and it can harden there. So that's still igneous rock. So that can form from lava as well as magma, but basically the same substance, just below the surface versus above the surface. Um, some examples of igneous rock are granite, pumice, and obsidian. Obsidian, if you're not familiar with it, is this sort of dark, black, glassy kind of looking uh, rock. Um, the next type is sedimentary rock. Um, it is consolidated sediment. Basically, weathering breaks down rocks into little pieces, and those pieces get transported along by the wind, by the rivers, by whatever, and eventually they get deposited. And when they get deposited, they get kind of packed together and those little pieces form a new kind of rock, sedimentary rock, as it gets packed together. Um, so examples uh, of this include gypsum, coal, uh, limestone, sandstone. Um, and if you notice with like sandstone, it's very clear that it's little part particulate pieces of rock packed together because you can crush it very easily. You hit it with a hammer, it kind of breaks apart. Um, so it's kind of, it's consolidated, but it's not usually super hard um, and, and forced together in the way that metamorphic rock is. So that's our last type. This is where it crystallizes, meaning there's an actual alignment at the molecular level of the, of the components of that rock. Um, and it usually occurs because of a lot of pressure from above. It gets buried deep underground as sedimentary layers get put on top of other sedimentary layers on top of other layers. The ones that are deep down below have all the pressure of those sedimentary layers above pushing down on them and it causes those rocks to essentially clasticize and kind of bake into this new crystallized um, hardened form of rock. We call that a metamorphic rock. So examples of that would be slate and marble. Um, so those are, set of, oh, those are metamorphic rocks that get formed over time from that heat and pressure deep underground. So these are our three rock types. And the metamorphic rock could then get so hot that it melts and it becomes igneous rock and it comes out and extrudes from a volcano or it hardens again underground. Um, as, an, uh, as an intrusive igneous rock. So th these all can sort of become each other. Um, you could also get the metamorphic rock gets exposed uh, from deep underground via erosion. Um, for example, um, in the Grand Canyon, there, the deep layer is called schist, and the Colorado River uh, eroding that deep canyon has eventually exposed that deep metamorphic rock that was underground and now it's exposed to weathering it's getting broken apart into little particles and it's becoming sedimentary rock so all of these can get turned into all the other types hence the rock cycle this sort of illustrates that process taking place um, so you can see here with the volcano underground we have the magma the igneous rock it can harden underground and you see an example of uh, of a rock that has hardened underground, and that's the granite that is pictured here. Above that, you see pumice, which is like the pumice stone you might use to uh, scrape the calluses off your feet or something like that. That's a rock that is an extrusive igneous rock. So unlike the intrusive rock, the granite, which hardened underground from the magma, um, this magma came to the surface as lava and it hardened when it hit the water, or it hit the air, and it cooled very quickly. You have all these sort of pores in it from where the air bubbles existed. That is the pumice stone. So those are both 
uh, igneous rocks, just one is intrusive and one is extrusive. And then you see the weathering taking place here, the little picture of the cloud with rain and it's breaking that down and it's carrying it and you see these sedimentary beds here. Um, so sedimentary rock layers are getting laid down. An example of a sedimentary rock, you see the picture here of coal. Coal is a sedimentary rock. So are things like sandstone and limestone and things like that. Um, if you look at the layers as they go deeper and deeper, um, eventually gets that pressure to create metamorphic rock. Um, another thing to know about the layers though is just the fact that the newest sedimentary layer is deposited on top of the older ones. So if you get a question that gives you a cross section of rock like this and they're asking about which is the oldest, the deeper the sedimentary rock is, the older that rock is. The closer it is to the surface, the newer it is. Um, eventually it gets deep enough that it has that pressure that we talked about that can cause it to transform or have a metamorphosis, hence the metamorphic rock. In this case, marble, you see pictured here. Marble actually starts out as limestone. So limestone is a sedimentary rock, but over time that pressure turns the limestone into the metamorphic version of that, which is marble. So again, all these rock types can become the other rock types, and you can see that happening here. One other little note um, that can relate to question types that you can get, they might give you layers of rock and say, um, when did the uh, erosion occur on a certain layer? It has to be during a time that it was exposed to the surface. So if it's buried underneath a new sedimentary layer, that sedimentary layer had to get deposited after the erosion of this layer because erosion basically requires some degree of surficial exposure. Remember the agents of erosion, the things that are breaking rocks down, are things like rain and ice and wind and things like that. And those things occur basically at the surface of the earth. So those are some tips to keep in mind when you're thinking about the rock cycle and the types of questions you may be asked about it on the exam. We hope you found this free teacher's test prep sample video helpful. For more videos like this one covering all the subject matter and strategy you need to pass your exam, visit us today at www.teacherstestprep.com.